Today we're going to be smoking some salmon on my Primo grill. As you can see, um, I marinated this overnight. Uh, yesterday I mixed four cups of sugar, brown sugar that is, a um, quarter cup of salt, maybe a tablespoon or two of uh, black pepper. Um, and I coated the fish and I put it in the refrigerator overnight. And this is the result. This is the result. Wrap it. I double wrap it actually. Just to keep all that air out. Look at all that water and that liquid inside there. Wow. Wow. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to rinse uh, the fish. And I'm going to let it sit and get room temperature for about uh, a couple of hours before I put it on the smoker. Place them on a nice rack for a couple of hours. Dry them off as best I can. And again, uh, let them uh, get to room temperature before we get them uh, on that smoker. Right now for my salmon, um, some white crab meat, some scallions chopped up and I already mixed them in. I got some uh, potatoes that I cooked early this morning. I boiled them with a little salt and um, for about 20 minutes and then I put them in the fridge uh, after they cooled off. Potatoes, basically, all you need to do is uh, get a fork and just break them just a little bit. You can take the skins off, you don't have to. Um, I prefer it. Uh, I think all the nutrients are in the skin. And then you put them inside and mix it all together. And here we are the potatoes, scallions, and crab meat all mixed in. I made a little uh, sauce for it. You would call it a vinaigrette, but there's no vinegar. Uh, some olive oil, extra virgin, salt and pepper, a little bit of water, and some lemon juice uh, to taste. And then uh, you put, put it in and uh, mix it in. Uh, I'm not ready yet, so I don't want to mix it in, but I will uh, be doing it later on. It's been sitting for two hours. Now we're going to put some smoked paprika sprinkle it on just like that and we'll put it on the grill once the grill gets to temperature that looks delicious now primo oval xl we'll be smoking salmon gorgeous day today Clean this up a little bit. I just uncovered it first time. February 2017. 60 degrees out. So, my fire. Uh, using royal oak lump charcoal. Using the Primo quick lights to get it going. And, uh, barbecue guru set. 150 degrees. Um, let me set this up here. I hate plates. People say why. So I put tin foil. I just don't want any of the juices to fall on and actually uh, stain the plates some water water pan underneath the fish uh, so we keep the moisture in there once again my guru is going and uh, we're gonna wait until it gets up to temp we'll put the fish in
grill is up to temp. Uh, we're putting on some uh, apricot peach preserves with some ginger. Put a temp probe in there. It's not really required, but just want to monitor and see what the temperature on inside this fish. Should be about 145 degrees when it's done. But uh, we'll let it cook for about two hours and uh, we'll check it. Okay, the fish is on the grill. Now we're gonna put our vinaigrette in. And just mix it and taste it and see how it is. Mix it all around. Okay, gonna need a little more. And we'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, about two hours. Looks delicious. I actually took those heat plates off. Um, wanted to get some nice flame on it. A little more darker. Um, looks delicious. Now it's just ready for plating. See you in a few minutes. Now that's delicious. If you have any questions on this recipe or any other video I have, please email me at reversesmoker at gmail.com. Thanks.